Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, actually, I'm guys, it's a bit cloudy today, but it's all right. It's not too cold out like that. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, good. Um, Joe Cole, did you see Joe Cole's quotes yesterday saying now he wished he'd never signed for Liverpool? You know, well, we, we wish you'd never fucking signed for Liverpool. He wasn't really being disrespectful. He was talking about how he should have gone abroad. Uh, you know, because of his dodgy knee at the time and the heat would have been better for him, you know. Uh, you know, he, he only signed for Liverpool, you know, because he was wrecked kind of thing, you know. Uh, but it was a, the wrong decision, apparently. Um, and if he had that choice again, he would not have signed for Liverpool. Well, I'll tell you what, if we had that choice again, we wouldn't fucking sign him either, would we, guys? He was fucking useless, wasn't he? Little fat fucker. I could run faster than him. Today, I'd say, well, I could if it was a nice green ban, but I had no time for him, to be honest with you. The only thing that I ever big Joe call up about was he would stop every time uh, and sign everything for the fans, you know, outside Melwood and everyone. And uh, I like that, all right? But that was drilled into his, into him by his old man that was like, these people, if it worked for them, you wouldn't be where you are today. You always remember the fans. Uh, sorry, I got that. He's got a tick for that. Um, obviously, when I used to do the Melwood Raw videos, they're still on here, I think. I won't watch them, I dare watch them. Everyone keeps telling me about the uh, the Torres video uh, on here. When people mention this, I'd, I'd uh, look at it. I'd delete it, probably. Um, but I used to do the Melwood Raw videos, as you know, which were good fun. They were good fun, I liked them. And when I talk about a footballer stopping and signing autographs for a fan or having a selfie these days or whatever... Um, I'm, I'm particularly thinking about the kids, you know, like, uh, yeah, like adults want the pictures and stuff like that as well, I get it, but the kids, like, to, to a kid, it's everything. Uh, and many a time, you know, you'd be there, stood there to be a kid, six years old, 10 years old, 13, whatever, uh, and there'd only be three or four of them, maybe. I'm not talking about when there's stacks of dozens of people and all that, and health and safety reasons and all them bollocks excuses and that. Um, but you'd be certain sometimes the players would drive out and just drive past two or three kids, you know, and um, and maybe not local kids. And when I mean by local kids is they can probably go there every day of the week, you know, when they're not at school and that. Uh, but maybe someone's gone all that way to the training ground in the hope of meeting their heroes. And when I used to do them Melwood Raw videos, I used to stand in front of the cars as they were coming out. There's no one's going to run me over there. Really. And, you know, just to force the car to stop. You know, I wouldn't stand there like, stop! What I mean is I'd just be like, pretend they weren't looking and that, do you know what I mean? And then they'd, they'd stop and then the kids would get their autographs and stuff like that. Now, in fairness to Joe Cole, you didn't have to do that to Joe Cole. Uh, you'd have to do it to someone like Glenn Johnson, for example. Glenn Jones Johnson, for example, who would never... See the fucking dog barking again now, started recording videos. Uh, Glenn Johnson would never... And you'd be surprised, some of your absolute heroes uh, are often the ones that... Uh, would let you down, you know, um, unless there was a Sky Sports camera there, you know, they would stop. But I used to be able to stand outside Melwood and predict, you know, people would be stuck with me, I'd say, well, I'll tell you now, he'll stop, he will, he will. You know, nine times out of ten, you were right. Now, I get it, you know, you don't own a player, you know, they're not a, a piece of meat or anything like that. You know, imagine it, we've all been there, right? we've all got lives, so humans as well. So, you, you know, you get in the car, you've been in you're training, you get on the floor, all right, babe, I've finished training, I'm on my way home. Hey, you didn't put the fucking rubbish out this month. You know, you're like, well, you're fucking having to go at me. Get to the fuck off, fuck off. You know, a little argument, yeah. And then drive out and you're like, I ain't got fucking time for this. You're stressed going home, right? Or maybe an important appointment or something like that. So I get it, you know. Um, but certain players, um, you could predict and they would never stop. Glenn Johnson. In fact, Glenn Johnson is um, in the news, I think, yesterday or today uh, with some Quotes about Kylian Mbappe. Should we have a look at what he says? Glenn fucking Johnson. I guarantee he was talking to a betting company, whatever it was. Now, Joe Cole, on the other hand, did stop. And like I say, it was his dad that drilled that into him. So that's the only plus he's going to get. Me, personally, I'd rather have seen uh, Nat King Cole play for Liverpool than Joe Cole. Uh, there's no doubt his ability when he was, you know, before his injuries and when he was fit and stuff like that, but he obviously came to Liverpool, uh, you know, at a time when it wasn't right for him. And I guess that's what he's saying. People have automatically, like, jumped on him because he said, you know, I regret playing for Liverpool. But in his quotes, he actually bigs Liverpool up, saying how big of a club it was and all that, you know. 
But, you know, he said I only signed for him because I was wrecked at that stage of his career. Uh, <laughs> Liverpool as, as a football club was wrecked at that time, wasn't it, guys? You know, so it wasn't a very good period for us. Uh, and Joe Cole was a flop, as were many of those players signed at that period, which, excuse me, should be a reminder to all of us how lucky we are today uh, to have Jurgen Klopp as manager uh, and these fantastic owners, FSG. Uh, to be sure, you seven hours, to be sure, you're fucking sure, fucking. Sorry, Sean, what did you say? Uh, you know, so um, happy days at the moment. Uh, that's it. Anyway, so Joe Cole did say, I, I regret signing for Liverpool. I wouldn't have signed for Liverpool if I could go back and make the decision again. But that's because he's he was saying that it would have been better for him to play in Spain or, you know, south of Italy or something like that to, to have the, the heat on his knee because it would have helped him. He wasn't being... It wasn't being as bad as, like... What I mean is, like, I've seen um, Liverpool fan sites, you know, trying to sensationalise what he said. Do you know what I mean? Like, he was being totally disrespectful. I know John uh, John Aldridge said, you know, something about, you know, we wish we had to sign you as well, sort of thing. Like, so. But, yeah, do you know what I mean? We, we, we get defensive. Don't we? Do you mean you do? You regret signing for Liverpool. Even if you're on crutches or had a leg amputated, you should still be fucking grateful. I get it. I get it. Uh, but I don't think he was meaning it like that. All right, guys. Uh, if you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. Please uh, drop me a comment as well. Thank you.